Welcome back to the show. Uh, Sahar Bini is joining us now, and she has the best title of all time. <laughs> she is Miss Universe Canada 2012, on her way to uh, compete, of course, in Miss Universe. How are you? Great. I'm really excited to be here. Good. I, I like your crown and your slack. I and know. Your... <laughs> and your sash is beautiful. Now, Thank Mike you. was asking, do you get to keep the crown? I do, yes. So I didn't see. Mine. These are things I didn't know. I thought that you passed it along to the next person and, and so on and so on. But at the end, do you have like a, a little box that you keep it in? and then? Yeah, I have actually a bookshelf with all my books. So this will go right in the middle there. <laughs> So what do you do with it when you're not wearing it, when you're not being officially Miss Universe? Does it just sit on the bookshelf, or do you wear it no, around the house? I give it to my mom. Oh, really? And she shows it off to all her friends. She's like, <laughs> look at my daughter's crown. <laughs> Does your mom ever put it on? <laughs> no, no, but she should. Yeah. Uh, everybody always asks, uh, you know, that question of, of what it's like for you mm -hmm. when you have that moment. But it must be a very special moment for your mom and for your family and... And to be in the audience and to be able to see that, that must be quite amazing. Have you and your mom and, and your family talked about that? We and did, yeah. It was, it was such an amazing feeling and a moment. And um, because I'm originally from Iran, yeah. and in Iran, women are not allowed to do events like this. Yeah. And um, that's why I felt like I was living for so many people that wish they could do this. So oh, what a beautiful thought. Yeah. Born in India, mm -hmm. raised in Iran, and then came to Canada. And, and within that, I'm assuming, like there would be with any family, there's a lot of sacrifice that happens yes. uh, from your parents and everything else. So that must be a beautiful moment for mm -hmm. them, just, just going, well, look. You know, all yes. those things that we did, all those things that we sacrificed, and look what it led to at this Yeah, moment. and that's why we're so lucky, because that's what Canada's all about. It adapts people from all around the world to this beautiful uh, place and uh, gives you the opportunities to go after your dreams, go after your goals, and there's no barriers. And uh, we were just looking at that footage of the moment that you were crowned, mm -hmm. and you <laughs> look stunning. I mean, Thank my you. God, you're gorgeous. <laughs> and so is your gown. And a lot of yeah. people would think that those are backstage, people fit you and pick them for you, but you have to pick this on your own. How much pressure is mm -hmm. there for you to pick the right dress uh, for a pageant like this? Well, I think that's one of the tests, is that they want to see um, how you're gonna come up with this amazing dress. And what I decided to do is that I had read a book and it was called The Power of Asking. And I said, I wanna ask the universe for a nice gown. <laughs> so I went to all the shops in Vancouver and I couldn't find anything. So I went online and I found a designer, Tony Bowles, who designs amazing gowns. And he's based out of United States. And I said, what do I have to lose? I'll just send him an email. The worst thing that can happen, he cannot reply. So he wrote a reply back to me. He said, we would love to uh, sponsor you a gown. And it was a process back and forth. And finally, I got this gown the day before I went for the uh, competition. The day You're before. The day before. The day before. <laughs> <laughs> Were you no. dying? I yes. am dying. Yes. <laughs> you must have been checking the mail all the time. Like, just please, please. Yeah. I was, and I said, if it's meant to be, I'll get it in time. And I wore it and it fit perfectly and uh, amazing. You know, and you're so wearing the sash, Miss Universe Canada. And then you're going to go on, of course, to the Miss Universe uh, competition. And mm -hmm. we've talked about your gorgeous and your gown and all that stuff. But there's so much more to you. You're a successful actress and you do a ton of charity work. Now, how important is that part of what you do when you do go and represent Canada at the Miss Universe competition? It's very important. And by the way, I just want to say it feels so great to sit here and have you guys do all these amazing things. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, there's so many different uh, charities that I'm involved with. And uh, one that I'm the most passionate about is BC Transplant. Um, because about three years ago, I lost my cousin to a horrible car accident. And it was devastating news because he was very young and he's recently graduated from university. And the one good news that came out of that whole um, event was that I got a call from my mom and she said that Mehdi just saved someone's life. And I didn't really understand it. And she said, yeah, they just uh, transplanted his heart and this girl is now able to live because of their decision to do that, to be organ donors. That's amazing. Just that moment of light, right? At such a dark time, just that one, you know, and, and because of the way they're set up, mm -hmm. you don't know who that goes to. 
but to know that it happened. Yes, and another misconception is that uh, a lot of people don't understand the power of being an organ donor because we were talking about it earlier. Yeah. One person can save more than eight people's lives. Yeah. And that's why um, I called up BC Transplant and I just wanted to know more information about it. And they said, yeah, the rates are not, the, the ratio is not that very good. It, only 18% of people are signed on. Yet, 85% of people agree with it. Yes. It's because I think people are unaware of, they just have to simply fill out a form. Maybe yeah, give it's us not enough info. to just have it on your yes. driver's license. Yeah. You have to fill out the application. Exactly. How do people do that? They go online, so they go to www.transplant.bc.ca. Okay. And I promise you, I've done this and I've timed it. And it takes less than 60 seconds. And so you can save How easy is that? You can save lives. up to eight lives. And, and you don't have to spend a penny which yeah. is the beauty of it because nowadays you know yeah. there's so many different charities and you, know, you want to do this you want to do that and you have to spend so much money whereas with this one you don't need to spend one penny and you know you made a difference. Obviously that's really close to your heart and, and you've traveled a lot uh, throughout your life more than I have and you're <laughs> far far younger than I am uh, but you've always incorporated volunteerism uh, when you travel and that's another opportunity that Miss mm -hmm. Universe Canada title has given you. Part of that is built into the title is, is volunteering in South America, yes? Yes, uh, so we get to go to South America to Nicaragua and uh, we get to volunteer there and give the kids computers and what a wonderful opportunity it is it really is and um, that's the beauty of this organization one minute you can be given more than five thousand dollars worth of diamonds sponsored right. to you next moment you know you're in your sweats and you're volunteering and you're making difference in other people's lives okay so when is Miss Universe happening and have you picked out your gown already <laughs> no <laughs> actually I'm going to be meeting up with uh, Tony Bowles and he's going to make a custom made just for me which I'm very lucky isn't that amazing yeah that is amazing and well he uh, must have been pretty happy too you won in my <laughs> gown yeah he called me up he said oh we're in Miami and we see it all over the TV and um, due to the controversy I, it was that's very, right of course transgendered uh, contestant as well for the first time yeah. yes, which I'm extremely proud of her to do that and, and she's um, beautiful well she is go Canada for for you know not pressuring necessarily, but being part of the conversation with the Miss Universe organization to mm -hmm. say this is what we want mm -hmm. uh, in Canada, so away we go. But and also for Donald Trump for making that decision. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. So you don't know when the Miss Universe actual pageant is going to be, like the big world one, right? It's going to be in December, but the place still not set. So It'll be announced soon. So you got a little time. Well, we will be cheering <laughs> on Canada, and congratulations to you, you for winning and all your great work. And once again, we wanted to tell you, if you haven't filled out your organ donation uh, information, super simple. Uh, you can find it online. It takes about a minute, so make sure that you go and do that. Free and less than 60 seconds. That's a great message. Uh, thank Thanks, you once Sahar. again. Thank and you congratulations. So Have you. fun. Uh, you can stay updated with Sahar by visiting her Facebook page, find out where she is in her journey, and of course looking forward to December to watch her compete uh, with uh, what is truly uh, some of the most beautiful and talented and dedicated women in the world on stage. So that'll be a lot of fun. We're going to take a break. <laughs>